Let me make sure everyone can hear me on stream real quick. Testing, testing. All right, guys. Um, welcome to round one for the 450 JGR GP League. Um, I'm just getting finished getting everyone in here. We'll get started in about two minutes with both motos. Hang tight. Alright, 450 boys in this lobby. I'm Xerix, Salt Man, making his return. Pressure Applier, Sammy YZB, Dilute Tiger, PSHP Austin, Brennan Bros, The Real Tug, MX Ghost, PSHP For Real, and Velt. Only other person we were waiting on is Slurp Kobe. I've sent him two invites, so we are just going to get this thing started for the sake of time. Um, if you're just joining us, we just had both 250 motos, which were absolute bangers, so check those out on the YouTube when you get a chance definitely worth the watch but this is 450 pro motos round one jgr esports league we are running on the track jgr pittsfield by shire 413 tonight super sick fun track should be some really good racing these guys are hauling so be curious to see if defending champ Samuel YZB can come out swinging and get a win. But I know Xerox is going to make it tough for him. A couple of different up-and-comers um, that I think will, you know, throw some challenges their way, like Pressure Applier, MX Ghost, guys like that. But plenty of racing to watch, so let's get this thing going. Let's check gates real quick. All right, unfortunately, it looks like Sam's not going to be able to make it. He's been having some Wi-Fi issues tonight. So we're going to get this one started just because we're tight on time. So 450 A mains, gates are set. Everyone is ready to go. So let's get this thing going. Let's drop the gates. Yeah, Sam's been having trouble with his Wi-Fi. I've, I've struggled with that. The first season on GP21, I uh, could, not, uh, could not stay in a game for whatever reason. And uh, I was always lagging out. So this game can be fidgety at times, unfortunately. But hopefully Sam can get it sorted out and join us for the second moto. 
but either way we're gonna have an absolutely fun race here Austin Edwards let's see how outdoors goes yes sir PSHP Austin really super solid season with us JGRESX and the summer series for champion congratulations on that to the whole team two championships in their first year in Supercross super stoked for those guys But I think my boy Xerox and Saltman are going to have a good battle here. And a lot of different guys to mix it up that are super fast. So let these guys get those last minute bike setups and adjustments in. Then we're going to drop the gate in 15 seconds here. Love to hear y'all's picks. Let me know who you think's getting the win. <laughs> What's up, Yoshi? All right. We are going, here we go, a little lag on the start there. Who's going to get the whole shot? It is Brennan Bros 32 on that Ashley Racing Team machine. But he quickly gets passed by Pressure Applier, who has definitely been ripping as of late. If I'm not mistaken, he has been running the BB Racing Series, a newer series that popped up. And I think he's the points leader on GP, so definitely has the potential to mix things up today. Dilute Tiger. Another guy who's been putting quite a bit of time in this game, running P2 early, Austin in third. The real tug in fourth, but goes off track and crashes. It's going to allow Xerox, your MXGP 2020 champion, in the fourth place position. He's got plenty of time. Xerox has a lot of experience. I think he has nine career overall wins, 14 podiums, and like 22 top tens. So the guy's definitely seen all sorts of things. Don't count him out, but MX Ghost is trying to make a pass on the inside. He does. He's going to take the line away from Xerox. Xerox checks up. Smart move. Not worth getting in, uh, entangled up there early. Salt Man back in sixth, making his first appearance back on this game in a while. So I'd imagine he hasn't had a lot of seat time. The real tug after an early crash in seventh. I got to stop commentating when he's riding. I keep giving him the curse, but for real, he's going to get by him. And moving to 7th, Real Tug 8th, Brennan Bros 9th, Belt Jr. 10th. It is Pressure Applier still out front controlling this thing, and he is getting quite a gap going at this point. Dilute Tiger getting a good wheelie scrub line there. And Samuel joins the lobby back after getting his Wi-Fi sorted. That's a bummer, but hopefully he'll be back for Moto 2. Austin riding very solid in third. Let's see if he can get out front. I think for someone like him, if he can get out front, he understands what the race pace is supposed to be like. He might surprise you here, but MX goes fourth, Salt Man fifth, and Xerox sixth. Xerox electing to take that inside line. In my opinion, the 250 races, that line was very solid. I was making up a good bit of time there. So I think if you can hit it clean, it's great. But God, that is a pack of five riders all trying to catch pressure applier. Xerox takes the inside line, squares up, passes MX Ghost. He's got Saltman on the inside. Xerox puts a block pass, but MX Ghost is going to come in. Ugh, you hate to see that kind of a racing incident, but we will go ahead and warn MX Ghost. Did come in a little hot there, kind of took the wheel, front wheel off of Xerox there, but... Xerox has definitely got the speed to catch up, but it is pressure applier right now. Getting it done, but 12 minutes left in this one. A lot of time, and on MXGP, all it takes is one mistake here or there um, to really allow people to catch up to you. But this track, very fast, and if you do make mistakes, you're going to lose time quite quickly. We see Saltman getting a second here, Dilute Tiger third, PSHP Austin in fourth. Hanging around that podium, final podium position. MX Ghost 5th and Xerox already closing the gap a little bit here in 6th. He just needs to settle in and kind of keep an eye on these guys in front of him. He's definitely got the speed to get up to him. And it looks like the Loot Tiger gets reset there. That's going to allow Xerox to get by in the 5th place position. Back now to the real tug who's kind of latched on to Xerox's speed a bit. He's finding his way into the back of this 5-man group. For real in 8th, Brennan Bros 9th, and Velt Jr. 10th. Back up front. Let's check on pressure applier. Still riding solid, but he's got some pressure coming from Saltman and Austin here. Saltman taking that inside line, and was he able to? Oh, almost looks like he was able to hit the uphill triple from the inside. It's a big line if he can convert that later in this moto. MX goes fourth, and Xerox hot on his tail in fifth. I would not be the least bit surprised to see Xerox put a good block pass on him right here. Gets a good drive on the back tire, letting it eat. Gonna maybe play it safe. 
gets a good little scrub off that single. Good momentum. See if he can make the pass here. Just hanging in there, looking for the right spot to pass. MX Ghost goes off the edge of the track, but a, kind of a quick line there. Stayed super low. Not sure if he meant to do that, but it worked out in his favor. The real tug falling off the pace just a little bit, but back up to this battle. Xerox is going to hug that inside, gets a good drive. He's on the inside of MX Ghost here, just needs to stay low over this triple. You'll notice that triple, that face gets a little grounded out there. He gets a really big groove going, and I was bottoming out quite a bit. So it's something these guys need to look out for. But that is Austin that goes down, unfortunately. That's going to allow Xerox to get by. Now he's trying to make a move on MX Ghost. MX Ghost showing some really good speed early in this one. Let's see if he has the endurance to go 15 minutes with these guys, though. Xerox has the inside line. He's going to play a little protective cat and mouse. He's going to check up, which is a very smart move there. MX Ghost riding a wide bike. Xerox is trying to pick him apart and find where he can make the pass. Austin not far off the pace after a mistake. Dilute Tiger 6th, Freel 7th, Real Tug 8th, Brennan Bros 9th, Belt Jr. still 10th. Back up front, pressure applier. Looking very clean so far. Not bad, but Saltman wants to change that. Trying to come out and get himself a win here in round 1. MX Ghost still riding the wide bike in third. Xerox gets a good line through there, riding the back wheel. About the same distance he was this time around. Let's see if he can find some room just anywhere. But Austin kind of sent back and watching to see if these guys are going to make any mistakes and if he can capitalize on that, but he's in a good spot right now. Xerox has a better drive on the inside from what I can tell. And it looks like Xerox might get the pass here. He's able to quad downhill, which is huge. MX Ghost wasn't able to do that. Xerox gets a good drive and needs to take this inside line away. He does. MX Ghost slides back up on the inside. These guys are having a hell of a battle here. But they are not far from the, the leaders. And as I saw them going by, Saltman is making up some time on pressure applier. They're both electing to hit that inside line, which is definitely quicker on the 450s, I feel. Pressure applier trying to go for that triple uphill, but that is a tough line. Saltman able to make up a little space staying low. MX Ghost and Xerox still absolutely battling it out. And PSHP Austin has worked his way into this conversation now. Still sitting back, being patient. Go up with a different view here so you can kind of get a better idea of these guys' lines and get the whole bike in picture better. Austin going outside here, trying to see if he can get a better drive. Oh, he gets off in the choppy stuff there, able to save it, luckily. Oh, Xerox gets reset. I know he's going to be super pissed about that one, and Austin follows right in his footsteps age-old tale when someone in front of you makes a mistake and you watch it you think you're going to capitalize and you do the same thing it happens to the best of us Xerox now needs to make up some time MX Ghost solid ride in third pressure plier gets passed by Saltman Saltman is your new leader let's see if pressure plier is able to stick with him and make this a good battle to the end it's definitely shown good speed, but Saltman is a veteran. A lot of league racing for this guy on multiple different games, so he knows how this goes. This ain't his first rodeo, but pressure applier still hanging on his back wheel, waiting for something to happen. Coming into frame next, MX Ghost still holding down the third spot. Xerox is certainly the faster rider in this duel. Um, not, that's not me being biased either, but every time he's either made a mistake or something's happened, he's caught right back up on the rear wheel of MX Ghost. So at the moment... We will have to see if Xerox can make anything happen, but at the moment he is just sitting back. He hits that big uphill triple. That's a huge line. Austin falling off the pace a little bit. Not sure if he made a mistake. Back to the guys in the back here. The real tug. Solid ride for the real tug in sixth. See if he can hold on to it, but he's got for real lurking now. Brennan Bros eighth, who's made up a little bit of time on those two, so good ride for him. Velt in ninth, and Dilute tenth. Dilute. All the way back after being second in this one early. It's a bummer for him. He needs to regroup and try to find some lines and make up some time on these guys. Saltman controlling the lead out front. Nothing has changed. But pressure applier. Losing a little bit of time, but nothing too crazy. Still six minutes left in this one, plus two. MX goes third and Xerox 
trying to keep it on two, make up some time on the next coast here. Austin still back in fifth. Let's see if we get some different line choices here. And pressure applier gaining a little bit of time on Saltman now. Let's see if he can get a pass here. I'm going to stay on board with him. Really good battle with these top four. Xerix closing the gap again, but still, with five minutes left at the front, two crack at all. I mean, MX Ghost and Xerix are on them like white on rice. So we'll see what transpires later in this one. Back to Austin in fifth. Just a train of guys, six through ten, coming through that tricky little section, double, triple. MX Ghost is goaded. Goated. Yeah, he's definitely riding well. Shout out to him. Good little battle with these guys in the back. Dilute making up a little bit of time. Passes belt back out front. Let's check on our leaders. Salt man and pressure applier. Still going at it here. Really impressive pressure applier. He raced to this back on GP 2020. Um, it was kind of like one of those guys was maybe in that 8 to 12 range in the main events, which, hey, nothing wrong with that. Qualified for the, these races against some of this competition. It's definitely solid, but he has certainly picked up the pace. Been putting some laps in on the game. So good for him. Let's see if he can make easy work of Salt Man or if he's going to hang around in second. But MX Ghost still third. And Xerox trying to close the gap, but he's not really able to get inside four or five bike links here. So stay tuned on that one. Austin's still fifth. Let's check on this battle in the back. Real Tug still holding down six, but for real, making up a little bit of time here. Let's see if maybe he can duck on the inside. Real Tug hits the line as well. He gets a better drive and reset. Brennan Bros eighth. Solid showing. Dilute. Kind of had a mid-moto slump there, but it's looking like he's finding his form a little bit later in this one. Let's see if he can salvage a couple positions and goes off track there. Unfortunately, Velt is going to get around him. Saltman. Still holding down the lead out front. Good ride for Saltman. Coming through... Uh, what did uh, Xerox call it earlier? Thunder Lane or something like that here at JGR Pittsfield. Super fast line coming around the start there. Little S turn. Got to be on your toes. Pressure applier. Not letting this thing go. Ops to go outside while Sal Saltman goes inside there. See if it pays off for him. And I have to admit, I thought Saltman, once he got around pressure, that it was going to be a done deal. But he is really impressing me hanging in there. So good ride for him again. MX Ghost still third and Xerox fourth. Ooh, Xerox getting a really cheeky line there. That You can definitely loop out on that uphill when you're riding the rear wheel. So a lot of touch there to make that line happen. Back to Austin, still in fifth, and quite a ways back to sixth, real tug. So Austin kind of on a, his own island, but for real. Oh, it looks like he's going to capitalize on a mistake by tug there, moving to six. So the PSHP boys, five and six here. Brennan Bro is trying to work his way in now, and eight. So he's got two spots in front of him, but but Velt, Velt wants in this, this battle. So you got four guys here. And Dilute falling back to 10th once again. It's unfortunate. Let's check on Saltman. See the gap here. He's starting to open it up just a little bit on pressure here. And next goes to third. Airs it out. Able to hit that triple. Xerix still right there. I know Xerix is trying to eye up that podium spot. Being that it's a two-moto format. 215s. Two um, it is... Very easy for the people who finished out front in the first one to maybe have a, a rougher second moto. So you never know what could happen. But as of right now, one through four are really showing out. We'll see if Xerox can get around into that podium position. Austin still on no man's land back in fifth. But for real, actually kind of making up a little bit of ground. He's been putting in some good laps late in this one. The real tug still holding on, P7. Brennan Bros 8th, Velt 9th, and Dilute 10th. This is a hell of a battle back here. I'm going to try to keep an eye on that one as much as I can just to give those guys the limelight they also deserve. Again, anyone running these races definitely has good speed. There's no squids out here in this uh, this main, so shout out to all these guys putting in the work. Salt Man, though. 
absolutely working the field at the moment. Haven't really seen too many mistakes, a lot of consistent riding from him so far. Nice little scrub there, that's key. But pressure applier, I didn't even realize how close he was. He has closed the gap once again. Let's see if he can make a move or find a place that he can make up some time. Both riders going inside, carrying outside. Salt getting a nice little scrub off the edge of that jump. Saves him a lot of time right there. Every lap he's staying low and kind of landed in that perfectly. So pressure seems to lose a little bit of time and then kind of gets him back just a little bit after the finish line. So a little bit of yo-yo effect going on. MX goes still third and Xerox fourth. So these guys are holding strong, charging. Quite a ways back to Austin in fifth. Brennan Bro is in sixth now. Really solid for him. Able to get around that train and dilute. As I say that, dilute goes from last to seventh. So he wants to work his way back up and get as many positions, positions as he can. What happened to Pharrell? Pharrell must have went down. He's sitting P8. The real tug fell two positions as well back to ninth. And Velt. Oh, and Tug gets a really good line through there. Stays low. Jam that right stick and through the berm he goes. But these guys are about five wide coming through here. This is insane. <laughs> you can see these guys. I think these guys play together quite a bit. Their speed's very similar. But it's just, it's any man's game for those positions right there. Five of them going at it. Good racing. Back up front, see if pressure is able to close the gap. He's fallen off just a little bit. I wish I had some time in scoring, kind of like Supercross, so I could see the contrast lap by lap, but hey, we're making do. See if pressure picks up on this line. It looks like he almost tried to, but able to get that triple. So if you're able to hit that line clean, I think it makes it worth it. But if you do case it uphill triple, that's tough. Definitely kills your momentum. That's what this game is all about, line selection, being in the right gear, and just carrying your momentum across the track, keeping the back wheel on the ground. The pressure player doing a good job of that here. Oh, gets reset. And that's going to allow MX Ghost to now sneak up on the back of pressure player. Xerox is right here, opts to go inside, trying to find room anywhere he can. Now he's got his eyes on two guys in front of him. Eric's going to get this inside line here, super clean, and there's quite a ways back to Austin, but solid ride for him, and he's one of his first races on MXGP doing league stuff, so shout out to him, for real, worked his way back in the sixth, showing his speed here, but Velt putting on a little battery tender hard charger here, he was in the way back early in this moto, worked his way into this group, and picking guys off one by one. Dilute back in 8th, Brennan Bros 9th, and the Real Tug 10th. I swear, every lap I go to these guys, it's like a different different order, 6 through 10. So we'll check on that again. But Salt Man on rails here. He's really actually not too far from being on the uh, lap in some people. I don't think he'll get there just because it's the final lap. But really fast pace here in 450 Moto 1. MX goes 3rd. I'm Xerox 4th. Looks like he might be just a little bit too far to make something happen. Barring a, any sort of mistake from those two in front of him, but still a good ride. I think it shows him he has the speed to be up there. He just needed a better start. Kind of had some unfortunate circumstances early in that one. Don't think Austin will be mad with a fifth in this moto. Throwing a little turn down steezer there. Velt moving in sixth. Solid ride for Velt again. Starting to open it up on Furio a little bit now. Brennan, Ro Brennan Bros P8, Dilute Tiger 9th, Real Tug 10th. And as we go back up to our leader, Salt Man, it looks like he is going to be your Moto 1 winner if he can get across the line here, which obviously will. And Salt Man 17, shout out to him. Getting the Moto 1 win, pressure applier, super solid ride in second. MX Ghost 3rd, I'm Xerox 4th. Wow, that hurt. Austin in fifth here. Not going to have any trouble from behind. Don't think six through ten is going to get to the line, obviously. So the running order looks like Austin fifth, Velt Jr. sixth, for real seventh, Brennan Bros eighth. 
See if to loot. Nope, not enough time to loot ninth and the real tug tenth. So taking a look at some of these lap times. Quite different from the 250 boys, 135s for the leaders, then dropping back down to the kind of the high 130 range. So, really good battle by those boys in that first 450 moto. We're gonna take a second. I'm gonna kind of regroup and uh, we'll get going here with the second moto in about three to four minutes. Hang tight. Yeah, guys, uh, I noticed there's been a glitch with this game lately. Uh, it's not like lagging out of races, but anytime you go back to the lobby in a private for some reason, it like more times than not seems like it wants to kick you. So I'll get the lobby going here real quick. Um, feel free to invite each other, you know, if you have friends that are in the race with you, just to help speed the process along. We'll get going as soon as we get everyone in. Just waiting uh, one more minute for Velt. I invited him twice, but if not, we're going to get this thing going due to time. So just one more minute for Velt. If not, we're getting started.
All right, I guess we're going without Velt. So we sub in Sam essentially and lose Velt, but either way, good main event coming up. If you're just joining us on stream, track for tonight, JGR Pittsfield by Shire. Shout out to Shire for making two tracks for us this season. Got a couple other good tracks coming y'all's way. Got one from my guy Bean Smoked. Shout out to Bean Smoked as well. But looking forward to a good season. Hopefully we can get some more people out every week. But very good turnout this week. Full lobbies in both classes. Obviously a couple people didn't join. Um, and we'll get quicker with the uh, with the speed of the event through the through the whole season. So thanks for your patience. Gonna get gates set up here. We're going to get this thing started. Um, Shire, I did get your message. I did send Velt three invites, so maybe his settings are off or something. I'm not quite sure, but I sent him multiple invites um, to the same account he raced on the first moto. So sorry about that. Maybe something something worked out weird, some weird glitch with PlayStation or the game. But, yeah, I did send him a couple invites. Alright, 450 Moto 2, Samuel YZB, Brennan Bros, Pressure Applier, I'm Xerix, PSHP Austin, and For Heel, Saltman Moto 1 winner, The Real Tug, MX Ghost, and Dilute Tiger. These guys got about 10 more seconds to get their setups and everything dialed in, and we'll be good to go. Again, unfortunately, Velt won't be joining us on this one. I did send him a couple invites, not sure if it's his settings, but he did not join and the show must go on so looks like it's going to glitch again I won't see the start until they take off and Saltman gets a good jump and I'm Xerix is right there on the outside as well and they're going to be three wide going in this first turn Xerix needs to be careful not to get pushed by the herd coming in behind him but he's in a good position right behind Saltman here and MX Ghost almost lands on him it's a warning for MX Ghost got to be careful It's chaotic on these opening laps, but send it in there. <laughs> Pressure applier, second in moto number one. He is hanging in there at the top where he thinks he should be. The loot tiger. P5, so decent start here. And almost goes off track, but saves it. That's going to allow Sammy Wise to be last year's champion, missing from Moto 1. He's already 25 points in the hole this season, but in GP it's very easily, very easy to make it up, excuse me, just because points awarded by Moto. So you know, if a couple of these guys have bad Motos or miss one or two, he'll be right back in it. But sitting fourth in this one right now, his teammate I'm Zurich, still sitting pretty in second, trying to latch on to the speed of Salt Man. Pressure applier still holding strong third. Samuel YZB fourth. Austin back in fifth. Brennan Bros in sixth. See if he can take that inside line away. Austin's going to dart and steal the line from him. MX Ghost seventh. So after a good first moto for MX Ghost, he's going to have to air it out to catch up to those leaders. Coming through Pittsfield lane here. Little sweeper left to right to left into these rollers. 
back to dilute eighth for real ninth and the real tug unfortunately looks like he's way back there in tenth not quite sure if he missed the gate or um, maybe just made a couple crucial mistakes but let's see if he can charge back up front however go to our leader here salt man see if he's stretching it out Xerox keeping him honest I think this is the amount of space there was when Xerox latched on to him in second here so he hasn't really lost any time but kind of hard with salt man he's so quick falls out of the line there able to make a good save kind of watch a couple of these faster guys in both classes you'll notice they're turning the bike both ways to try to set themselves up for turns a lot of times helps you kind of get over some of the bigger send jumps as well but Xerox riding well early in this one Samuel YZB though made work a pressure applier and he is trying to catch his teammate knows he needs every point possible pressure applier almost lands on Sam there he cuts underneath and he makes the pass on Samuel YZB it looks like Saulman might have made a mistake because now Xerox is right on him both are going to hit this inside line sweep outside Riding the rear wheel, both opting to stay low, and double double through those rollers. Pittsfield lane. These guys are super close right now. This has been a crucial section of the track coming into this downhill. Saltman almost slides out on that inside line. Let's see if these guys can hit this inside knob. It's super important. Both get it clean. I think that is for sure the faster line. As you can see how much they pulled out on Sammy YZB right there. As he almost goes off track. Pressure applier four. So one through four. All within about three to four seconds of each other here. Super good battle early in this one. Austin trying to find the speed to get up there with him. But he's battling with the loot Tiger. He has his hands full. Back to MX Ghost in seventh. Who needs to get moving quick if he wants to be on that podium overall. Has a lot of work to do late in this one for real P8. Brennan Bros 9th and the real tug 10th. Back up front. Let's see if Saltman's opening it up. He's got Xerox on his rear wheel. These guys are going extremely fast. Both are able to hit the quad downhill. Let's go from the third person number one camera here. Get a little bit better of an angle. These guys airing it out, trying to make it happen. Pressure applier still hanging right there in third. Sammy YZB kind of getting in a one-on-one -on -one battle with pressure here as the top two start to separate themselves. Dilute Tiger and Austin having a banger back here as well. So kind of just little two-man battles through the field, it seems like, as Brennan Bros is trying to latch on MX Ghost. And for real and the real tug are going at it back at the back of the pack. Salt Man still out front. Looks like Xerox honestly got a little bit better of a drive through there. It's super tough. This track is a little bit goat trail. Uh, a lot of one line in some spots that you really can't make up a lot of time. But that's kind of just how the fast tracks go. Got a couple more technical ones on the schedule this season. Be interested to see who's better in those situations. But right now, Xerox is applying the pressure. Speaking of pressure, pressure applier, he's in third. Samuel YZB still fourth. Not a whole lot changing on the field right now. We'll go back up to our leaders. Tyler, so upset I couldn't make it tonight. Us two, man. Hopefully to see you. Hope to see you next week. I have no doubt you'll be a ripper on this game, shooter. So shout out to you. Hope to see you then. Ooh, pressure applier, big send there. Getting down the hill, trying to catch Xerox. As it sits right now, Pressure Applier would still have second overall over Xerox. Xerox would be P3 overall. And Saltman, obviously, if it stays as is, would go 1-1 for the overall. However, Samuel YZB can help his teammate out here if he passes Pressure Applier. Obviously, it does nothing for Sam because he missed Moto 1, but Xerox would get second overall. Anyhow, back to fifth, Austin. Starting to make up a little bit of time on Samuel here. MX Ghost makes the pass for six past Dilute Tiger, who it almost seems like Dilute really comes uh, into the first couple laps strong, kind of like Ken Roxon a little bit, um, has lays down a couple heaters, but then it almost seems like he finds a, a mid-race slump. Um, I don't know if it's the lines changing a little bit or nerves or what, but seems to kind of go through a slump in the middle and come back strong at the end, so we'll see what he does for real. 
still holding out in eighth. The real tug made a pass for ninth. Got around Brennan Bros. Back out front, not a whole lot changing. Saltman opening up the gap just a little bit. Let's see if Xerox can find a line somewhere around the track. Might involve taking a risk to get it done against Saltman, but Xerox is fully aware of the situation. Pressure applier though, showing really good speed. Latching on to the 2020 champ here. Trying to see if he can uh, follow him up to Saltman. And Samuel, good ride there for him as well. Austin on the gas in fifth, but MX Ghost is coming. He is in sixth. Dilute still seventh for real. Eighth, real tug ninth, and Burning Bros still hanging out in tenth. Let's kind of check out Saltman's line choices here. Gets a really good run through that inside berm. Does a good job staying low through those rollers. Double double into Pittsfield Lane. Let's see see how he attacks this here. Looks like fifth tapped. Double in, single out. This is where there can be some different line selection here. He's opting to go inside. Ooh, hangs on to her. And he's going to get reset, so that's going to allow Xerox to close up. So Xerox gets through that inside cleanly, so capitalizes on making up some time. It's a rare opportunity for Saltman to go down and make a mistake, get reset. So Xerox, let's see if he can capitalize here. Pressure plier, still right there, equidistant from uh, first, second, to third here, all separated about the same. Sammy YZB and Austin now going at it. These two had some battles in Supercross as well. Let's see if Austin can work his way past. Oh, very dirty freaking scrub cancel there. Unreal. But gets a little spun out in that turn. Sam's going to open it back up. Back to six. MX Ghost now trying to work his way into this thing. So not looking like he'll have a good shot at the uh, podium overall at the moment. He would have to make quite a bit of moves. I think he's got to pass three more people to get up there. He'd have to get around. No, actually, he'd have to pass Xerox at this stage. So a lot of work to do for MX Ghost, but definitely charging through the field. Dilute Tiger. Looks like he's kind of leveled out a little bit back in seventh. And the real tug is charging. He might be this moto's battery tender hard charger. I think last moto it was Velt, but the real tug. Every time I pan over to his screen, he is absolutely airing it out. Holding their wide, so be interested to see if he can latch on seventh here. Brennan Bros is right there as well. Oh, and Saltman. Oh no, did Saltman lag out? I think that's may that may be what happened. I doubt he would uh, back out leading a race, especially when the overalls on the line. Bummer deal for him, but Xerox is going to get the better end of that stick and be in first here. So. At the moment, 3-1 would get Xerox to overall. It would be better than Pressure Applier's 2-2. So now with the new circumstances here, let's see if Pressure Applier can reel in Xerox and at least make it an interesting battle. But Samuel YZB quite a ways back in third. MX Ghost fourth. Super bummed for Saltman. That really sucks. He was riding very well. Definitely was earning that overall. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Austin settling back in the fifth a little bit now. Salt man, so sorry, dude. That's such a bummer. I hope you come back next week and battle for it again. Yeah, man, you definitely had it. I think anyone would would own up to that at that point and say that you definitely had the win in that one. I've been on that that end of the lagging out. It sucks, but again, hope to see you back for some more rounds, man. Good ride. And. All these guys capitalize on a position change because of that lag out. So Dilute finding some speed here, but he's got the real tug. Nice salt man, looking forward to it, bro. A lot of races to go. Oh, as the real tug spins out. And he's just trying to get it back on the track. Really bummer for him. God, that sucks. He had a good charge going. Back up front to our leader, Xerox. He's got pressure applier hot on his heels here. Starting to make up a little bit of time, but nothing too concerning at this stage. Three minutes plus two left in this moto. Samuel YZB 
giving her all she's got, trying to hold off MX Ghost. MX Ghost, good ride from the back of the pack early in this one. Austin still hanging out in fifth, but he's he's only one mistake away from the, that third and fourth battle. So, see if he can keep those guys in sight. A lot easier to chase them when you can see them. Quite a ways back to Dilute, who's in sixth, who kind of on a on his own island for real. Back to seventh, Brennan Bros eighth. The real tug charging once again. See if he can make up some room. I think with his speed, he can get up and get these two guys in front of him. He's been looking good in the second moto. Really clean ride from Xerox here, but pressure plier. Just got to throw it out there. I think most impressive ride of the night for me is pressure plier. I know that Xerox, Saltman, Sam, all those boys can do this, but he has been running an insane pace. This is the best of the best people on the PlayStation side of the game, no doubt. I think there's a little bit more competition on Supercross, more people playing it, but. A lot of these boys you see here tonight, definitely some of the faster guys that play MXGP21. So, really pumped to have these battles and uh, the opportunity to call this race has been super fun. With that being said, Zerek still holding the same gap he had around this spot last lap. MX Ghost has made his way around Samuel YZB in the third, but Samuel YZB not going to let him have it easily. He's going to see if he can get on the back wheel, let it eat, and get this inside line, and it looks like he might be able to. Hold on to her, Sam. See if he can go inside. He's going to go outside, try to carry his momentum. Squares down just a little bit. Both hit this inside clean. Let's see if Sam can show some speed here. Get back around MX Ghost. Championship went down to the wire between uh, him and Xerox last season. First season on GP21, that is. I think they were only three to five points separated at the end of it so it's going to be a battle to the end again with these guys this season looking forward to watching it a couple new contenders in there salt man pshp austin pressure plier this 450 class is going to be hot and heavy for sure Sirix still riding well out front has a good bit of room on pressure plier but pressure plier good drive on that uphill section there coming into pitts field lane here has to be careful not to get too inside on those trap markers there. I've seen a couple people get reset. Very clean inside there. You almost have to let your momentum carry you over that and just be in first gear. And kind of hug it a little bit and stay, uh, stay straight as an arrow. It's really easy to spin out on those things. Pressure applier is just giving it everything he can right now. He's closed up a little bit of room on Xerox. He hit a really big line going uphill here. I'm going to be curious to see these guys laps at the end of this. Pressure applier trying to work to get up to Xerox, and it is working. He is closing the gap as we speak. Two laps to go. These guys get the card this time around. He's going to be two laps left in this moto. Xerox getting the downhill quad, and so does pressure applier. This is what separates the boys from the men. This is up, up to 40 minutes of racing. Tonight, a lot of mental stamina and endurance goes into having a good result. Pressure plier, keeping it close. Riding very well. MX Ghost and Sam having a battle back here as well. Sam cuts underneath. See if he can stay lower here. He does. He gets a better drive getting onto the table. Him and MX Ghost back to back. Looks like MX Ghost might go inside. Sam's going to let to go outside. Cut underneath. See who can get the better drive. Sam scrub cancels. Stays lower. A little bit of lag there, but he does stay on the inside. Makes the pass going into Pittsfield Lane. See if MX Ghost can climb his way back. He is on the inside here trying to show a wheel. He does. Trying to find somewhere to get around, but Samuel is ripping right now on a heater. And going back to the front, pressure applier not too far off of Xerox now. He has really closed the gap, so one lap to go. We are going to have to keep an eye on this one. This is an insane battle going down to the wire here. Let's see if any of these guys step out and make any uh, weird line choices just to try to find some space because they're essentially running the same lap time. 
pressure applier right there. Xerox would hate to lose this one. Oh, pressure applier makes a little mistake there. Game of inches in this moto. These guys are hauling ass. It's all about setting yourself up, especially with these long sweepers. Shire did a good job building the track that's all about momentum. And it is proving to be that here. Brennan, fellows, this is a race. Yes, sir, it is. Let's see if pressure can catch up to Xerox here. I cannot pan away from this one. As Just real quick, I want to check Sammy YZB. Still holding down third, but we are not going to go away from this lead battle, guys. These guys are ripping. Let's see if someone hits this uphill triple. No, nope, pressure player opts to stay low as well after I've seen him hit that big line a couple times. Keeping the power to the ground. Pittsfield lane one last time. Pressure gets a good drive, able to stay a little bit more straight, lose less time. Xerox doesn't double in, pressure does. Is pressure going to be on the inside? Xerox dashes to the inside, saves the line. This is going to be key right here. Xerox goes inside, pressure's going outside. Who can get the better drive? Xerox gets through that inside clean, stays low. Pressure applier trying to make up any time. It is going to be fireworks in this last turn. Let's see if he can get close enough to make a block pass. He looks like he's going to go inside. Airing it out. Xerox plays defensive. Good on pressure there. He could have really cleaned him out if he wanted to, but keeps it clean. This is a great battle. Xerox is going to hold the inside line. Pressure player wide open. He's going to get second, but Xerox is going to take this win. And the overall with a 3-1 pressure applier 2-2. Two -two. Sammy YZB gets third, but MX Ghost will get third overall. We're going to get these guys on the podium real quick and uh, talk to them about their race in just a moment. But rest of the field didn't want to neglect uh, any other battles going on, but that, that lead group was too insane. Austin going 5-5, five, five, solid result. That'll be a fourth overall for him. Dilute Tiger, I think he went 8-6. So not bad for him. And then the rest of the field, the real tug, 7th. For real, 8th. Brennan Bros, ninth, And that was Saltman who disconnected in 10th. All right. Great racing tonight in both classes. Really stoked on the turnout and everyone coming out. Again, we're going to get these guys on the podium just to talk to them about their night real quick. And then, yeah, that'll be it. So just a moment, guys, and we'll get the podium, podium interviews underway. Xerox, what's up, man? Good ride. I'm gonna mute you for a second, but then uh, we'll we'll get rolling with podium interviews here. I'm gonna get the other boys in real quick. Pressure applier, great ride, man. Uh, make sure that um, I'm about to do some interviews with you guys, but just hit a party audio settings on the screen and make sure that you're allowing um, your sound to be heard on broadcast. It's yep. And then MX Ghost, what's up, man? Gonna get some podium interviews here. Just make sure your par party audio settings are to allow audio for streaming. And I'll mute you guys. I am gonna start with. Xerox here. Xerox, great ride, man. Not quite sure. Can you hear me, by the way? Cool. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, not quite sure if you um, if you knew this, but you got the overall with a 3-1. Pressure was 2-2, two, two, so you got 4-1. Oh, wow. Look at me being an absolute klutz. Oh, wow. Okay, so P2 overall. Talk to me about your night and kind of how you feel with your ride in the, in the opening round there.
right right um yeah either way really good ride man um stoked for you and uh, i'm going to talk to these other two guys good ride pressure just one second here i'm going to see if everyone can hear you on stream all right unfortunately looks like Sam's not gonna be able to all right man so i guess i didn't realize it but you got the overall i was thinking xerox was third in the first moto so talk to me about your night kind of how you feel with getting the win in the first one here Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Heck yeah, man. Well, super solid ride and looking forward to seeing what you can do the rest of the series. Yeah, man. MX Ghost, can you hear me? What's up, man? Great ride tonight. Super fun to watch you guys battle it out. Um, those top couple guys, you guys were going back and forth. So kind of tell me about your ride, how you feel, and uh, going into the rest of the series. Yeah, absolutely, man. Well, you looked really solid out there. I think it's only up from here for you. So uh, good job again, and we'll see you next round. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, guys, sorry about that. Um, looks like we're going to have to work through the podium stuff. Um, the concept is there. Uh, we just got to get it all dialed in. But I am going to save that clip so that you can hear all that recording, and I will post those podium interviews on our Instagram and in our Discord later on, probably tomorrow. So um, thanks again, guys, for sticking it out with us tonight. I know it was a little longer than we wanted it to be. Uh, first one, always got to get the kinks worked out, but a lot of good racing in both classes. Congrats again to the podium riders in both classes. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys out next round. Tell your friends, tell everyone you know, come ride with us. Great series. Got a bunch of good custom tracks upcoming, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.